In this solution demo with Glacis App Forms, we are going to demonstrate a approval workflow process by showing you how a credit card application form can be reviewed and approved. So in this demo, we are going to show you a solution where there are five steps in the process. And what you see here are the five roles or departments that need to review a credit card application. And uh, we have kind of simulated what the steps need to be uh, just to demonstrate what is possible. And each department can be a queue with the number of users participating, where in each step of the workflow, one of the users can take ownership of each uh, application for processing. And we're going to show that to you. In this demo, we are going to use some test user accounts and these are the user accounts representing each of the departments that will participate in the workflow process. Uh, so you will see us log in using these demo accounts as we flow through the solution. So what you see here is just the solution dashboard where I have an inbox and an outbox. All the applications that are awaiting action by me as a logged in user will be in my inbox and all applications in my outbox are submissions that I have participated in or I am the submitter. If I click on new, I can bring up the application form or forms. So the submitter who is initiating the process uh, for this request approval for credit cards can launch the credit card application form. And on filling up the form, I'm going to just fill up a few of the fields in this sample form here. Uh, so I can just walk you through the demo. Uh, the form can be any uh, design or layout that is required with data being collected from existing data sources. So once the form is submitted, it will now be available in my outbox. And you can see that in the title of the form, we can configure any unique identifier. In this case, we're just using a number and the first name. Uh, and in the outbox, if I now uh, want to review the status of the submission, if I click on view history, it'll show me the status of the workflow and it shows me that it's pending with the sales department. So once the, uh, the application has been submitted. Then to show you what happens in the next step, I'm going to log in as a user from the sales department. Uh, you can just in the background an email notification would have been sent and they can also click through the link in the email to come to the form or else they can just come into the dashboard uh, and every time they come into the dashboard any applications awaiting their action would be in their inbox and if I open up the application in my inbox what you will see is I can now uh, process that application. So if there are a number of users in the sales department, one of them can pick up that item in the queue and it's in their inbox. So they to take ownership of the item, they click accept. So now if there are five members in that queue, a specific user has taken ownership of this particular app application. The user can uh, use any one of those workflow ac actions to now uh, take an action on the workflow process. In this case, let's assume the this particular user is happy with the application and they are going to approve it. So it flows to the next step. Now, once the application has been processed from the inbox, it moves to the outbox of the participating user. So you can see that uh, you can still monitor the state of any application that you might have participated in by viewing the outbox. And here you can see it shows you that the workflow has completed one step and is now pending with the next step, which is the credit card department. Now, if I now, if I log in as the user from the credit card department, I will again find the application in my inbox. And like I was saying, uh, they would have received an email notification. They could click the link in the email to come into the form directly and take action or they can just monitor all the applications in their dashboard. So if I now again want to participate in this particular step in the workflow for the credit card department, I can open up the form 
Uh, again, we can have multiple sections uh, enabled for different departments if required. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just uh, going to approve it again. And if I approve it again, this is the second step in the workflow, rather the third step. And once the application has been approved, it will be available in my outbox. Again, if I want to now review the status. And if I log in as the user in the next step in the workflow, uh, you know the cycle by now. So we're just demonstrating how you can configure a business process or workflow logic to route an application through multiple steps. So here again with the legal department, uh, it's in the inbox. Uh, the user that wants to take ownership can uh, click accept. Now the forward button is if you want to introduce an ad hoc step in the workflow. So uh, you have the predefined workflow process, but if you want to bring in an ad hoc step, you can click on forward and choose to forward it to an alternate user or group. If I simply want to continue with the, the demo cycle, I'm going to approve it again. And you can see that I'm approving it and it's going to move as it did earlier to the next step in the process. And uh, again, every participating user can track the status of any application in their outbox. So if I come in as the, the I believe the final step in this particular workflow now, Again, I have it in my inbox. So the application is in my inbox and I can choose to, to work with this application. If I monitor the history of the process, it's now in the final step, which is the issuing department for this particular application process. And if this user is also uh, going to now uh, complete that step by approving it, they would now be completing the full process of this credit card application example. Now, you just need to relate to this solution scenario as an example of how a forms and approval process can be configured using Clases app forms. And uh, once the all the steps in the workflow have been completed, you can see that the status shows that it's all done and completed. And the state of this particular application will now be changed to completed. And you can review and monitor uh, all the completed applications as well, which I'm going to show you in a moment. So since this particular application has been completed, if I go up to my dashboard and click on the completed option there, I will now be able to review all the submissions that have been completed. So this is just another solution example using Clases app forms uh, to demonstrate how you can have a workflow process automated. Thank you.